Hi guys, good day and welcome back to my channel. Today, I think most of you will be very excited to paint along with me because we'll be painting a rainy day scene. And as you guys already know, I've painted a lot of rainy day scenes and I think one of the most favorite series that I've done um, is my rainy day series. So yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to do one piece now and let's see if you're gonna like it and if you do then we'll do more of this in the future yes so yes okay i'm quite excited because i'm kind of missing i missed doing this one i've been teaching a lot of one subject type of painting but this one is more of landscape so yeah let's go guys let's do this so first i'm going to tell you the colors that i'll be using for today's painting we have, of course, a lot of titanium white, black, oxide green, um, permanent yellow deep, burnt sienna, medium magenta, and ultramarine blue. So yeah, I'm gonna underpaint the, the canvas. And I'll be using, okay, I'm gonna wet my brush now. I'm gonna dump, I'm gonna damp it. And then I'm gonna use my white, actually a lot of white. A lot of white I'm gonna mix it with black uh, that's too much I'm gonna add more white like this color it's like gray and then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of magenta medium tiny bit just to, s to tell that it's there okay like this color okay more magenta okay Let's go. Yes, just perfect. Just the way I want it. Okay, I'm gonna get more white this time just to make some gradient uh, it's not really gradient but just to brighten this part and also down here yeah down here it's quite bright more white and do your strokes as if um um these are clouds actually this white part or the bright part is not the clouds it's actually the bright portion of the sky because the cloud is actually the dark portion in the sky. Okay, I'm gonna go back to gray. Anyway, this is just, again, the underpainting or the starting point of everything and we can always paint over and for sure i'm gonna paint something over it we're just trying to be we're just trying to like outlining where everything is gonna go okay okay more grayish um color here And 
and down here. All right, like that. It looks really weird, right? But I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. You don't know how much I love doing this subject. So I just keep adding light grays and whites. Depends on how cloudy your sky is, but for me, um, it's like um, finish or uh, the rain just just uh, stopped pouring. That's why you can see some bright areas already. All right, let's stop for. Let's stop here for a while. Let's now go to the trees. I'm gonna use another brush just to um, make it more um, defined or like solid. So I'm gonna use a smaller brush just for me to be able to uh, do some details. So I'm gonna mix my black with my green oxide okay more black and okay more green like this color okay remember as well that we're doing perspective perspective study again i love perspective studies because it makes our paintings more realistic it's not flat it makes us included or it makes us feel like we're included in the painting by having perspective i think that's the main point of perspective um to make you feel as if your the object or the subject is actually there right in front of you so yeah this color okay so i'm gonna make some trees i think this is too dark i'm gonna add some more green this is too dark Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's perfect. So I'm gonna make some like bush shaped, um, like bushes or trees from afar. And in this painting, we're actually looking from a glass, okay? As if you're in an, inside another car and the view is right in front of you. So, yes. Okay, I'm gonna add some more dark greens. And when you're looking from a wet glass, the image becomes distorted. So you cannot really see the actual shape of the tree or the bush or the car or anything. Um, you only see the suggestion of the object. Because if, if it's too obvious what you're looking at, then it's not a wet glass. It's actually a clear, clean, clean glass. But we're painting a rainy day scene, so we must follow the, the rule of science. Okay. Okay, for the trees here, it's quite, they're quite near us. Well, nearer compared to these trees. We're gonna make them more light green or yellowish already. I'm just gonna add more green. Okay and i'm gonna go right here these are actually pine trees um and 
And again, we're going to go back to this later. We're just trying to identify, we're just trying to identify where the trees are going to go. Okay, I'm going to add some more dark greens. And then light greens. Just mm, use the dark greens and the light greens alternately. The dark greens will give some shadows and depth, while the light greens will give us um, mm, what do you call this? Proximity. So the nearer the object is, the lighter the color becomes, or the more visible the real color becomes. Gosh, I'm so, so excited. You know, it's been a while since I got super excited. You know, I'm always excited when I paint, but um, this is just so special because this is my favorite subject, to be honest. Okay. I'm gonna do some more bushes here and all that. And what I like about rainy day paintings is that the object that we're looking at is distorted. So we really don't have to be so concerned about detailing. All we have to be concerned about is how it would, how it would look like when we're actually looking at a rainy day, a rainy day view or a rainy day scene. We all know how it um, how it looks like but it might be a struggle for some people to actually do the view themselves or paint it themselves so I'm just gonna help you do that okay and then as we go nearer I'm gonna add yellow to the mixture more yellow yellow probably white too yeah white okay just to make it more yellow greenish and then i'm gonna go oh seems dark but it's okay i'm gonna lighten it later okay more yellow oh sorry more green just green, pure green. Green oxide. And again, to make some um, foliage, oh, um, just dab using the tip of their brush or sometimes just, yeah, just like this. Um, it's so easy that it's so hard to explain, you know. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some dark or I mean depth by adding black to some areas. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make some suggestions of like tall grasses. Here. Okay. Like that. Okay, wash your brush up, and you can use a big brush for this one because um, it will get the job done much, much 
uh, faster. So I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna get my white and then just add black, more black to be honest. Oh, like this one, yes, like this one. So it's dark gray. So it's dark gray. Mm -hmm. Okay, more black, yeah, like that. And I'm gonna start, hmm, okay. Yes, we're gonna do the road now. When you paint the road, you follow the direction of the road. You cannot just go like that, right? Diagonally or horizontally. You go vertical, but in this case, it's not really vertical. It's more of diagonal because of the view is like going uh, to the right. All right. Okay. And as you go to the right, as you go more uh, to, towards the side, we're gonna add, okay, I'm gonna, I just ran out of white, so. I'm just gonna add more white to the gray mixture. Okay, this side is a little curvy because we're following the, we're following the, the curve of the road. If you're driving, you probably know what I'm talking about. Okay. So I'm just gonna uh, like this and in the middle, we're gonna go like more vertical. That's how perspective works. And don't worry too much, again, because this is the underpainting. Okay, like that. I'm gonna get more light gray or white to the mix. I'm gonna add it to the gray mixture and make some bright areas here. And for this side, this is quite brighter. Try to blend. Try to blend, guys. All right. And then, mm -hmm, this side. Make this quite bright. Okay, like that. Get some gray, then go back. Okay, dark. Make it dark gray. Okay, and then back to light gray. This side, light.
Okay, and then dark again. Alright, like that. And then I'm gonna make this side quite dark because, again, perspective. The nearer the object, the nearer the location, the more visible or the darker the colors become. I'm gonna change brush I'm just gonna use the finer brush that we use for the bushes and the trees so uh, I'm gonna go back to my greens but this time quite darker like this color and then I'm just gonna go and make some dark greens here of course this is just the underpainting again um, we're gonna make it more um, plant like or bush like later Okay, and then again, for this area, I'm gonna use just greens and tiny bit of black just to make it lighter and brighter. Okay, blend. All right. Okay. And then I'm gonna get my black plus dark green. It's almost black. You can actually use black, but I'm gonna use just dark green. I don't wanna use pure black. that and here I'm just gonna do the same like that okay wash your brush out and then I'm gonna go back to my grace but this time um, it's quite light like this color and then this color this area the railing is that the railing or the bar this area oops uh -huh. okay And then I'm gonna get my okay wash brush out dark greens again and I'm gonna do it here just that 
It's like um, some plants along the road. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. And then to the um, to the green oxide and black, I'm gonna add a lot of white, like this color. It's like mute. Oh, this is too light. I'm gonna add more black and green. Mm, like this color like this color it's like muted green oxide and then I'm gonna color I know this is too light but um, anyway I'm gonna color this area Okay, I'm gonna add black to it and then go to this area. Okay. Hmm. All right. Now I'm gonna do the cars. Okay. I'm gonna use black. I'm not washing my brush because really, it uh, it really doesn't matter now. Uh, black. And then I'm just gonna outline my car I'm just gonna outline it like that okay just color it first with black you can add white just to make some areas grayish you can do that now or you can do that later all right Then I'm going to use my um, ultramarine plus white and black, like this color. And I'm just going to color the, the glass. Okay, like that. Actually, I might correct my car mm, because I think mm, wait. I'm gonna correct this one. Okay, get your black. and then use the black to also darken some areas for shadow purposes or depth that all right as we 
will here. Just use black. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use my gray. Well, dark gray. It's not black, but just this color. Add a little bit of white. And then I'm gonna mix a post. Like that. Okay, again, I'm gonna make it light gray this time. Oops. And, hmm, my brush. like that and I'm gonna use the same mixture to make another pose right here again this is all about perspective and right here I'm gonna add more white right here Okay, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, wash your brush out. Wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my permanent yellow carefully extracting it from the green mixture because they're like so beside each other so i'm just gonna get it like this and i added white and i'm just gonna color mm, it's too dirty okay anyway this area to suggest some light yep it's oh Okay, just pure permanent yellow deep. And just dab. Like that. And then go around the bushes. Like that. Like that. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use another brush because I want to make the sky more clear. This area. So this is just titanium what? So there will be some white streaks in the sky to suggest like after the rain effect. It's like the sun is coming back. 
or the sunlight is showing through. Okay, here as well. We're going to brighten more this side. Okay, I'm gonna use my, my white to just, no, 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 not my white, but I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black or make it a little grayish like this to make some, hmm, some blurry effect here. So I'm not dabbing. Uh, I'm just slightly or carefully applying it to make some like smoky foggy effect like that yeah I like it I like it oh my gosh I like it okay sorry guys when I paint <laughs> rainy day paintings I get so hyper right and then here like that Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use this mixture just to brighten this portion of the road because, um, again, this side is brighter. You know why? Why this side is brighter? Because our sky is also brighter this side. So it's just consistent with the idea of uh, light. How, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> My paintbrush just flew away. I'm gonna get pure what? Here. And I'm gonna use my hand because I need to use my hand. Like that. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use a more a uh, more small brush just for the car. I'm gonna use my gray's light gray, and I'm gonna finish the car now. Like that, darker gray. I'm gonna close this. Why is it open? I'm just gonna close that one. All right. Okay. So now I'm gonna get my dark gray. This mixture. And we're gonna do the shadow of the car. This might be a little too light. But hmm, let's see if this works. I'm gonna stick to this one. Ah! Silhouette! Silhouette! <laughs> the white silhouette. But it's alright because I can paint over it like this. Yes, 
Okay. Like that. Mm, okay, I'm gonna get my light gray again. Just to outline the shape of the back, uh, what they call that? The back glass of the car. Okay, and then I'm gonna get some more light gray because we're gonna make another car just right in front of it. I'm gonna let it dry first. I'm just gonna get my black and no, 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 black. And just to darken this area, even, I mean, darken it more. Okay, now I'm gonna get my pure black just to outline the road like that. I'm gonna get some light gray. Like that. I'm just using some light gray and applying it on areas that need to be brightened. Okay, like that. I'm gonna get my white. And let's go back to this area. Okay, get my black.
Okay, I'm gonna get some grays just to finish this one. I don't know why I didn't finish this one. And I think I have to widen the road for perspective reasons. Okay. Then I'm gonna get I'm gonna go back to my bushes. I'm just gonna fix this one. Like that. Like that. Okay. That's good. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the droplets. Yay! So exciting. Okay. This will make or break the painting. So I'm going to use a lot of white. Well, not. A lot of white but new a new white paint okay let's go so I'm gonna go and get my watered down white again for you asking if I'm using a lot of water I must say yes compared to other people I say yes yes again water down white quite um okay a lot of white i mean a lot of water it's quite um therapeutic to be doing this We're going to use the splatter uh, technique later, but for now it's going to be like this. We're just evenly distributing the droplets because we don't want to be like concentrating in one area. For now, it's going to be like this. Okay, now we're going to go for black or gray, not black, not black guys, just light gray, water down, it has to be watered down, so I'm just going to use a lot of water, okay. And it 
it's not really watered down, we can fix that. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you how to fix that on. Okay. We're going to get our black. I'm gonna get my black and start doing this one. I mean, this technique. Okay, this area will be different. So adjust your black. You can actually use light black or light gray. Depends on where you place the droplets. If you're placing it on a brighter side, you can use just gray. If you're placing it on a darker side, use black. That's it. Okay, just use them alternately okay. here it's quite different Yep. Okay. I should brush out. I'm gonna use my white. White. Go back to those areas. Okay, you can use light gray to some areas as well. Okay, I'm gonna get pure white. make some droplets here and there use black for more um, droplets here Again, I'm just using black and white alternately. Okay, before I forget, I'm gonna go get some black and make some, like, oh, what do you call that? railings that support the the iron okay and then we're going to make some deflection 
not the yeah, reflection. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my my leg is like sleeping. My right leg sleeping. Okay, so I'm gonna get my white, pure white. Just go. Just gonna go back to some areas that I want more droplets. Okay, I'm gonna brighten this part. Okay, wash your brush out. Gonna get my black again. No, 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 not black, but dark gray. Water down. Water down. I'm gonna get some what here. gonna get some dark green let's go back to the trees because I think I overdid the glazing here Okay, wash them out. Just gonna get my what? Okay, I need to darken the railing a bit because this is like quite flat. So I'm. Just, mm, it's not yet. Well, yeah, just darken it because um, it's too, it's too light. 
there's no perspective. Okay, like that. Here as well. And just if I uh -huh. Just define the railing. Okay, like that. Brush up, brush up. Oh my god. You know why I said, oh my God, because I actually, uh, actually had some bruises um, uh, last Wednesday on my leg because I biked. For the first time, I, I finally learned how to ride a bike and I was so surprised that I did it quite, I learned so quick. To be honest I was so surprised but then I actually learned without falling but then I fell after I actually learned already so yeah that happened last Wednesday so I am sitting on the floor right now and I saw my bruises that they're, they're like quite purple I know so gross but I'm gonna get my green oxide mixed with yellow and I'm just gonna dab here to suggest a uh, lighter co uh, lighter colored leaves in this area like that okay gosh I'm looking at my bruises right now okay we're gonna do some splattering effect okay I'm gonna use wider or fluffier brush for this one I'm gonna use a lot of white or gray doesn't really matter I'm gonna use this and just uh, this one splat splatter splat 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 doesn't really matter where you oh that's a lot <laughs> this is fun okay that's enough and then I'm gonna get my black like this water down and as well i'm gonna splatter okay just gonna have okay don't overdo this oh my god that's a lot of splat okay yep yeah it's all over my legs okay that was fun okay <laughs> So, we're just going to go and do some finishing touches here. I'm going to go really light, light gray, like this color. Um, okay, go a little darker, like this color. Uh-huh. Okay, this one. And we're just going to um, do some wires. Mm -hmm. oh. Yikes, it's too dark. Uh, make it more light and white. Like that. Eh. Eh. What's that? <laughs> okay, yikes. 
<laughs> Yikes, guys. Messy, but it's alright. Because that's part of it. I should have waited for it to dry before I... Mm, I'm just gonna get my gray and fix it. Because remember, it's the sky, so it can be a little grayish, it can be dark. Okay, I'm gonna get more white. that all right like this okay wash up a shot okay so I'm gonna let it dry for a while I think I got quite excited <laughs> I'm gonna get some yellow, only tiny bit, not, um, you know, it should not be super there. Here I go again with my hey, um, smearing some paints from the splatter, but it's okay. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the droplets to dry, but uh, I don't want to wait so long. Okay, I'm just gonna do this, okay? and if you find it really thick you can adjust it you can um, thin the line More what this time? I'm literally using my fingers. This side. And then I'm gonna get my yellows. I'm so hungry, guys. Gosh, I'm so hungry. After this, I'm gonna eat. Okay, make some 
suggestions of leaves like that okay mm, this looks nice me uh -huh. that's that looks nice right yes so I'm gonna get my pure white and I'm gonna use a fluffy brush um, quite fluffy than usual <laughs> just to rework my sky or rework the clouds if you want to call them clouds Mm -hmm, like that. Okay. I hope the droplets are dry. But um, I want to touch it again, but it may be wet. But anyway, I'm gonna. Okay, do this. Uh, this technique is like dry brushing like that whoops mm, some areas are still wet okay for this area this area mm, I'm gonna use hint of yellow green like this and like that because it reflects the leaves of the bushes um, along the road so some hints of green doesn't have to be super green but mm, just to suggest that it's there Okay, like that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get more of my... I'm gonna do some more droplets. Uh, get your light gray. Light gray. And yeah, just do some more. And then black. Oops. <laughs> I touched the green. Okay, and get more white. You know what? Um, you know what, guys? When I paint rainy day paintings, I really feel like I own the painting. Like, I am meant to paint rainy days. Uh, I mean, rainy, rainy day scenes. I feel like I was born to rainy day scenes I don't know if you feel that too in terms of your subjects I just feel like I was born on a rainy day or something what do you think yes gosh I'm gonna get my black fix this part because I feel like it's not really like perfect okay like that I love it I'm gonna gray this part it's too bright right I mean I told you guys that it should be bright but not too bright because the sky is still cloudy so it should be just brighter than the other side mm -hmm. okay oops <laughs> that's dirty
Okay, I'm gonna make some like this. Um, muted yellow green along the bushes line to make it more blurry. And I think it kind of lacks some droplets. So we're going to add, I'm just going to add like that okay so I'm gonna get my black again water down because our first car is quite flat so I'm just going to darken some areas. All right, like that. Mm -hmm. Gonna get my black. Okay, we're going to go back to the trees. Actually, we're almost done. But <laughs> I'm just trying to um, really do this or finish this um, the way I want it to look like. Okay. I'm going to get more black. didn't see that so I'm gonna get pure black Okay, I'm going to get some gray. white like that <laughs> this is so fun okay, I'm gonna add black Beautiful, right? Hmm. Okay, and then get white just to be more realistic. It's brighter here. I mean, this side is bright, this side is bright. It's like that. 
it's the light play okay here yeah Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, we're good. We're good, yes. I'm gonna sign it now. Again, you can do as many droplets as you want, but just make sure that you don't cover the whole thing, that it doesn't look like um, rainy, it more is like abstract. So I'm gonna use my white to sign it. I'm gonna sign here. Okay. And as usual, I'm gonna add some more detailing after signing. Um, Right. Hmm. It's so nice. Gosh, it's so good. Right? Oh wait, you can't see my signature. There you go. Yes, I like it. So Yep. Okay, <laughs> thanks guys for watching. Are we done? <laughs> Here I go again. Okay, let me just let me just do some more final touches. I feel like this post should be quite lighter. So I'm gonna glaze over some white so that it's not too obvious. It's quite obvious, which um is not good perspective wise this too. Yeah, like that. Like it should be there, but it should not be as visible as this one. Because, um, again, we're playing with perspective. And when we play with perspective, we respect, um, we respect distance and uh, what they call this we respect the we respect science basically how things really look like um, naturally and realistically all right so I'm gonna get my Y just to like that okay yes yep i think we're done so thanks for watching guys and i really hope you enjoyed it because i did i did and i can do rainy day paintings every day <laughs> but of course we want to learn so we're gonna do a bunch of subjects not just rainy day but yeah i hope i made you happy by finally doing this i think a lot of people have been requesting me to do this okay guys i'm saying my final my final words for this video but then i think i saw something again so i'm just gonna get my black <laughs> sorry guys sorry guys but yeah i'm just gonna darken this part because i feel like it needs to be darkened really really sorry but yeah in as much as I want you to learn from me quickly, I also want to have a good painting for myself. And yeah, so there you go. Now that looks better. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And of course, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this one. And guys guys thank you so much